Those feedback or rumble can add a lot of polish to your game with minimal effort. To add rumble to your game, you go to your content browser, right click, go to miscellaneous, and then go to force feedback effect. You can name this anything you want to, but I'm not going to name it anything for this tutorial. Now you just open your asset, then you go to force feedback effect, channel details, index, and go to your curve. Now you can double click this curve to open it in an external window, and this will be the curve that defines how much your controller should vibrate over time. Now you right click in this curve to add a key to this curve, and you can add keys any place you'd like your vibration to be. You can add as much as you'd like, but it's important to note that the max intensity is actually 1, and everything above 1 will just reset it to 1. And also note that one intens intensity, sorry, actually is way more intense than you might think it is. So it's really good now to not put it on one intensity whenever you can. Now when you've created your graph, you just go to create external curve, and then you save. You can name it anything you want, I just didn't name it anything. And then you go to your first person character for this example, and we're gonna add this vibration to the shoot command. So here at play sounds at location, we'll just get player controller and then we'll use client play force feedback. And we hook that up and then we pick the asset we just created. Now when we shoot, we'll actually have vibration. Now you can actually make rumble react like sound in your game, where based on where the player is standing in the scene, it can actually differ the amount of rumble. You can do that by right clicking, creating a new actor, I'll just leave it as new blueprint, then add a rumble, oh sorry, force feedback effect. I just wait for Unreal Engine. And then here at this force feedback, you can just put in your force feedback effect. Now, you can actually drag in this component, and based on how far the player is standing away from it, it can actually make his controller rumble more. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Please consider subscribing, it really helps me out with the algorithm. Anyway, good night everybody.